Hello everyone, welcome back to DMG Chemistry Classes and myself Dr. Mahindra Guleria, Associate Professor in Chemistry and today we are going to discuss a very important and very interesting topic partial molar free energy which is also called as chemical potential and in my previous video we discussed partial molar quantities and I told you that partial molar quantity of a component or the constituent is defined as the change in the extensive property of the mixture when one mole of the pure component is added in such a way that the temperature, pressure and the composition of the system remains constant. And it is represented like this that is Xi bar is equal to curly X upon curly Ni at constant temperature, pressure and the number of moles of all other components also held constant. So here we are going to discuss the partial molar free energy or the chemical potential and it is represented by this symbol mu or gi bar and it is equal to curly g upon curly ni at constant temperature pressure and number of moles of other components except ith component are also held constant. Okay so now let us define this uh, chemical potential. The chemical potential of a constituent in the mixture is defined as the change in the free energy which takes place at constant temperature and pressure when one mole of that component is added to the system, okay, keeping the amount of all other constituents constant. Understood? Or we can also say it like this that one mole of the constituent is added to such a large quantity of the system that its composition remains almost unchanged. Okay, and uh, so this is the definition of chemical potential or the partial molar free energy. And as I said, this free energy is an extensive property. And so we can write this equation for the free energy that is dg at constant temperature and pressure, where this dg is the uh, change in the free energy and it is equal to curly G upon curly N1 and at constant temperature and uh, uh, constant temperature pressure and composition is al also almost constant into DN1 plus curly G upon curly N2 into DN2. Okay, so let this is equation number one. So this quantity, okay, this quantity curly G upon curly N1 at constant temperature, pressure and the composition uh, is called as partial molar free energy or the chemical potential of the first component. Okay, and it gives us the change in the free energy when one mole of the first component is added to the system in such a way that temperature, pressure and the composition remains almost constant. So this is the chemical potential of the first component and it will be mu1. Okay. Like this, this curly G upon curly N2, it will be the chemical potential or the partial molar free energy of the second component and it will be mu2. Understood? And in my previous video, I just forgot to tell you uh, the meaning of uh, this word partial. So this word partial means that every component or the constituent contributes towards the change in the a total change in the property or the extensive property just like uh, the partial pressure of each gas contributes uh, towards the total pressure of the gaseous mixture understood so here every quantity is contributing that is this is the contribution of the first component and this is the uh, contribution of the second component towards the total change in the free energy so this is the meaning of the word partial. Understood? And as I said, this curly G upon curly N1, it is mu1. And curly G upon curly N2, it is mu2. So this equation number 1 will be written like this. That is, uh, this DG at constant temperature, pressure, it will become equal to mu1 into dn1 plus 
mu2 into dn2 okay and uh, this is equation number 2 so, and for for the system uh, for a system of definite composition by definite composition we means that there will be the definite number of moles of every component like uh, as i said that is n1 moles of first component n2 moles of second component n3 of uh, third component like this so for a system of definite composition uh, this equation number 2 on integration will give us that is g at constant temperature pressure and n okay this n means that composition uh, also remains constant and we know that the integral and differential cancel each other okay so the integration of this dg will be g that and g will be the total free energy okay and it will be equal to and the integration of this dn1 will be n1 and uh, we will have here n1 into mu1 okay likewise the integration of this dn2 will be equal to n2 and we will have n2 into mu2 plus and so on and here also we will have like this so this is equation number three okay so if we see this equation number three then uh, this first term uh, in the right hand side it gives us the contribution of the first component contribution of the first component towards the total free energy of the system okay and this mu one uh, it gives us the contribution per mole towards the uh, contribution per mole of the first component towards the total free energy of the system okay so this mu one is the contribution of one mole of the first component understood and when it is multiplied by n1 then it, it, it gives us the contribution of the n1 moles that is a total contribution of the first component understood so likewise the second term this n2 mu2 it gives us the contribution of the second component towards the total free energy of the system and this mu2 is the contribution per mole okay of the second component towards the uh, total free energy change contribution per mole means that contribution of one mole of the second component okay so contribution of one mole of the second component is mu2 and when it is multiplied by n2 we will have the total contribution understood so this uh, chemical potential mu1 and mu2 these are the contribution per mole of the first and the second component respectively towards the total free energy of the system so we can define this chemical potential in another way so let us define it the chemical potential the chemical potential of a constituent constituent in the mixture is its contribution is its contribution per mole to the free energy to the free energy of the system of constant composition system of constant composition at constant temperature and pressure 
okay so this chemical potential is the contribution per mole or the contribution of one mole of the component towards the total free energy of the system understood and as I said the free energy is an extensive property it depends upon the mass of uh, present inside the system what this uh, chemical potential or the partial molar free energy is an intensive property understood and I have explained it in one of the, my videos where I discussed uh, uh, this extensive and the intensive properties okay and I told you there that when any property or any quantity is expressed per mole per ml per degree Celsius per meter or per unit area uh, then that property becomes that extensive property becomes intensive property so and I will share the link of that video in the description box okay so uh, this is all about the partial molar free energy and the chemical potential and in my next video I am going to discuss the free energy uh, change and the standard state free energy change of a chemical reaction so keep watching my video uh, videos and like and share my videos and subscribe my channel thank you very much